I bought every Clone Army Customs grab bag ever. And today, I am going to be opening every single one of them. So when you go to buy them from Clone Army Customs or whoever, you know which grab bags to buy because they pretty much have all the exact same stuff in them. Now, what I mean by that is that every grab bag can usually consists of the exact same stuff. I'm pretty sure they're prepackaged that way. So you'll know exactly what to get I, every time I buy them. It's relatively the same stuff. And I'm going to be doing the weapon grab bags first, then I'm going to be doing the backpack ones. And I'm super excited. Clone Army Customs is great. And if you guys want to buy any of these weapons individually or whatever, um, my sponsor, Jonak Toys, sells them. So you use code ARTSTUDS. And you will save 5% off your entire order. It'll help me out a ton, and it'll help you out, uh, you know, getting these cheaper. They're cheaper than if you even go buy them originally at uh, CAC because you get the discount. And also, it's really quick shipping, usually. So that's great. Let's get started on our first weapon grab bag. So, cool angle from this one. Usually, we don't film this way. But we have weapon grab bag one. We are going to open up, and it is all of these fun boys. Now... This is a mixed bag. I, I, I remember getting this one. This one was one I, pr I got pretty commonly. Uh, you know, this is a pretty common one. Now, first off, you do get the golden guy, uh, this golden blaster. Uh, I'm noticing this piece is not, like, staying uh, attached. Uh, well, anyway, it's very loose feeling. Like, it feels very loose. But yeah, so anyway, you have this gun. I believe it was used by Cara Dune. Uh, so that's neat. Uh, you have Boba Fett's gun in pink. These are all, like, the undesirables. I consider those the gold, the, the snipers. If that's what you're into, that's good. As, uh, uh, but, but gold and pink, those are just not interesting to me, in, in my personal opinion. Uh, this is a good one. This is the mortar. I have a metric ton of these. Um, they, they, are, they are nice. They are certainly nice. Mortars, but you know that they're okay. These are you know probably a dollar piece. Uh, you know all these pieces are a dollar So you're going to be making your money back no matter what uh, you get a sniper Those are certainly useful again, not like the best weapons ever uh, And then yeah, so you also get this silver sniper rifle again silver is not as big like like good But it's okay, and then you also get the flame trooper. These are great because they're gonna be featured in the new um, Bad Bat show, uh, but still they're not great for armies. You can't get them that much in army So that is grab bag one so you know what that's like so if you want to buy that And again, these are each like two bucks, but we're gonna move into weapon grab bag two So two bucks you're not risking too much money uh, on them. It's it's a, it's a decent deal So next up we have two and let's see what is in grab bag two. Ah, yes. Yes, this is another one. I guess mortars don't sell well or whatever. They just load these up. So we have the gold weapons. This is the Mandalorian blaster. Now, these work better for Mandalorians because, you know, they can be random. Rebel trooper. I guess that could work for an honor guard. I honestly don't even know what you'd use for pink. Like, I, I have no clue. I mean, my honest guess is that I think yeah, it's probably just cheaper for them to produce those plastics over the black ones. Uh, here's a nice one. I, I don't remember this one, but it is a silver scout trooper blaster. Uh, that is very cool looking. I don't know what you'd use it for, but you know, there are silver blasters. Ray is one. Uh, what's his name? Krennic has one. Uh, that's certainly neat. You get a Han Solo blaster in silver. That works just fine. Uh, you also get a sniper rifle, clone commando. This works well. I think this is a good weapon. Just again, not an army builder weapon. And you're not going to find too many of those in these, so you will help find out which ones are those. Finally, we have a scuba gun. These are utterly useless. I hate those. Uh, they, they're never used in anything other than that one arc. And then another mortar, uh, which is neat. They are neat because, you know, they fold up. These are good, you know, for little bases, but they're pretty common. Okay, weapon grab bag three. This one's actually upside down, the sticker. Uh, so we're going to open this sucker up, and we are going to test what is in here. Oh, boy. Look at that. It is a lot of gold. That's not good. So weapon grab bag three is a no-go. Uh, so we got these boys. And before we do four, I actually want to do some backpack ones. Um, we have three of those. Uh, so yeah, so we have Mando gun. We have Boba's gun in gold. Again, that works better for Mandalorians. Just not great gold. All of that not useful. Uh, we have the sniper rifle. Uh, that, that is okay in silver. I don't know what you'd use that for. We have a scout for pistol. First army building gun. That is very nice. So you could look at it as like you're paying a dollar if you want this. And then you're getting the rest of it for free. That, that, that's a good way to look at it. You're getting another mortar. So I guess we're getting mortars in all these things. Uh, I guess that's a thing we're doing now. Then finally we got another flame trooper gun, which is very similar to the last pack. It's very similar in, in the bat watch selection. Now let's do a backpack. Backpack grab bag one. So these guys are beefy. Uh, now, these guys are interesting because I think, I, in, in my opinion, the best ones are the ones, obviously, that come in colors you can actually use. 
Uh, and, and the colors that you can't really use are those, like, again, gold and silver. Uh, so, yeah. So, first off, we have a silver jet pack. Jet packs are, of course, you know, the more desirable ones, like, opposed to flame packs. Uh, but, but they're okay. Uh, ooh, this is a very good one. This is a snow trooper backpack. That is beautiful. Uh, great for snow troopers. Great for, uh, you know, clone snows troopers. Uh, now here are our two jet packs we got here. We got a one in blue. These are great for your Mandalorian battle pack mandos. Like, beautiful. Like, I have one on one of mine. It looks great. You also have a black jet pack. That is very useful and very nice. And then finally, we have this pink one, which, you know, pink is generally useless. And then we also have a commando backpack, which is also very nice. Now, we can do, I think we'll do gra uh, backpack two, and then we'll do weapon grab bag four. So this one's actually three, so I forgot to kind of, um, but, but because I accidentally ordered two of the uh, weapon grab bag, uh, weapon grab bag two or whatever, or, or a mistake was made, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so here's this boy anyway. Uh, here is what he comes with. He comes with a pink one, a gold one, not great. Uh, we have, it comes with a nice little jetpack. That's a nice selection. Uh, we have a maroon color. That's always fancy, but, you know, it's, again, a flame pack, so not really useful. Another snow trooper pack. I believe this comes with maybe even more jet backpacks. Uh, a pink one, uh, that, that's not really useful. A uh, black one, that could be useful. That could be good. Um, and then a silver one. So the uh, bag, weapon gra or backpack grab bag three, not a great pick. Let's go to weapon grab bag four. Okay. Let's go to the final weapon grab bag. This one, where I hope this one's good. I hope this one has some good stuff because this is going to be the best of the best or it's going to be a total letdown. Ooh, and it looks like it's the best of the best. I, I see one beautiful, ooh, and we see multiple beautiful things. So, weapon grab bag four is where it's at. Uh, first off, you get a nice little bowcaster. I know it's not accurate or anything, but it's certainly, certainly a nice little design. I like that a lot. You get a little Wookiee bowcaster in silver. Uh, you get the Rebel Trooper gun in silver. Not fantastic, but it works. Like, you would use that on Rebel Troopers, and that would be okay. Like, if you wanted to spray paint the black back half of it black, that would be fine. Again, you'd spray paint on technically any of these. This, this one's the one I'm excited for. Uh, we have this silver guy. Nothing super special. We have the two gold ones. Again, gold is utterly useless. Uh, and then these are the ones. Obviously, scuba gun, useless. These are the two that you got to be excited about. Uh, this is, I believe, a battle droid weapon. Uh, I believe so. Uh, if not, someone can correct me. Uh, those are great for armies. And we also have the bazooka gun. These are beautiful. I do not even own one of these in black. They are just a beautiful figure. So if you want to take say here, let me get this guy, uh, for example. And we get a jetpack trooper. He could come in, shoot, fly in, pff, boom. Bazooka. Uh, they usually come in silver in these, but this was black, so that was very nice. Now we have one more pack to open. Now this is the final pack, and it is wet backpack grab bag number four. Um, now, again, I'm missing that one backpack grab bag. I, I, I don't remember which one it is now, um, so, so excuse me for that. Um, but yeah, so first off, we have pink, which is in the new Archer design. If this came in, like, any other... Any other design, it would have been like like any other color. I think it would have been ten times better. Uh, the reason this one's cool is because look, you could clip on the and you buy it separately. I guess you could clip on these these guns, which looks fantastic. I think that looks great, and you know it works perfectly, especially for people that you know do that type of a thing. Um, then you have a black jet pack, which is always kind of useful, good for Bad Batch. You have this guy, not useful. Uh, maroon, absolutely utter garbage, not useful at all. Uh, you have a nice little backpack that could be useful. Uh, this guy, not great. Uh, this guy, that could work. It's gray. That's a useful color. And then finally, we have a silver, nice little jet pack. Like, when I say these jet packs are useful, though, I mean it. Like, here, for instance, we take this green Mando from the Mandalorian Battle Pack, give her this nice little blue one. Sadly, she doesn't have her cape, so it doesn't fully accentuate it, but that looks, like, fantastic. I think that looks great. Uh, you take this white Mando I have, and these are Mandos, so, you know, different situation. Uh, but you technically use, like, a black jet pack, uh, and that would be fine, I guess. Um, you know, there are highlights there. And you'd also use, like, you know, a white one if you happen to get that, I guess. Uh, you know, that looks kind of nice. That's not, like, the best example. Uh, but overall, like, like, there are ways that where you can use these jet pa these uh, things to your advantage. I, I think they actually would work really well. Uh, these packs weren't particularly good, so I guess they updated them a bit. So if you were to buy them now, this is probably what it would look like with that, at least my experience, or generally. It looks like every blaster thing comes with a mortar. Uh, it looks like all of these are going to come with some a lot of cruddy colors. You know, I, 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 ha I feel like I've been luckier in the past. Maybe that's just, you know, 
nostalgia or whatever. I, I don't I don't know. I remember them being slightly better. Uh, but you know, that's all right overall. But I find it interesting. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, peace out. Just stay awesome.